Okay, so pretty much since uh, FL Studio 25 came out, the only thing that I did so far was uh, mess with the new VFX script. Uh, it's a way to interface uh, Python coding with FL Studio, uh, specifically MIDI notes and parameters. And I wanted to show you what I've been up to. So let's demonstrate. I have a short demo here, which has no scripting and no coding involved, just synths and bass and drums playing and doing their thing. So let's listen. Okay, and now I want to show you the version that does have uh, the VFX scripting and how much cooler it can sound. So how does it sound so different when it's playing the same notes? Well, the VFX script has uh, a lot of options for modifying existing notes and creating uh, new notes. And that's a lot of what I did in this scenario. So uh, let's start one by one. So I'm going to first play the sounds without any uh, VFX script uh, altering my playing. So the chord synth sounds like this. As you can see, it's playing at a constant velocity, but it is velocity sensitive. The cutoff uh, is mapped to the velocity. So if I play uh, soft notes, it is very quiet and closed. And if I play uh, loud, I get a very open sound. So uh, the thing that I did with the VFX script is a small script that's meant to replicate uh, the menu on your MIDI keyboards that have like uh, different velocity options and transposing. Let me demonstrate. And uh, this entire part is dedicated to MIDI. Uh, you can set the maximum uh, velocity value, for example, and the minimum velocity value, and you can randomize it. So. That's what I did here. Uh, each uh, chord has the same velocity, as you can see here, uh, but it is always being randomized by this script. So let's take a look. So this creates a very nice variation that keeps uh, the chords always interesting and not uh, static. Let's go to the next uh, instrument. So we have uh, a lead synth. I'm going to play it without the script. Uh, again, a very simple sound. Uh, the velocity is controlling uh, the volume of the uh, wavetable oscillator. Uh, and what the script does is it adds a bunch of voices. So this is another script. It's a harmonizer. So uh, you can see in my MIDI clip that I'm playing only uh, a monophonic line, uh, a single voice only. And I'm generating three additional voices that are being quantized to my scale, uh, the pentatonic major in this case. Uh, let's hear it. And another uh, cool feature of this script is that it can uh, affect the velocity of the harmonized notes so they can be louder or quieter if you want to. So let me increase their velocity. So now you can see that they're really overpowering the main sound, so I'm going to bring them back down. Um, 
And another cool thing is that this script uh, can randomly choose how many voices. So that's what I used here. Uh, by default, it just sets uh, the harmony to whatever you pick. So if you play the same note, you're always going to get the same uh, voices. But you can choose a random mode and it's going to uh, randomize the voices every time you play. And that's also giving a very nice variation to the uh, lead voice here. It's constantly changing and evolving. Let's listen to it. It also has a really nice pitch bend, which sounds nice with all the voices. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. Uh, let's see what we have next. Okay, so this is probably my favorite script so far. Uh, let me play the original sound for you. So this is how it sounds like. So a very simple sound. It's just a triangle wave and some vibrato with an LFO. And the velocity is controlling the volume again. And I call this script uh, harp because it kind of sounds like, an, like a harp uh, playing crescendo. Uh, so what this does, the best way to demonstrate is by showing uh, the Serum keyboard. So I'm going to play one note. So as you can see, it plays a uh, crescendo up to the note that you wanted to play. So when you play one note as seen here, it's going to play all of the notes uh, in the scale that you choose uh, until it reaches that uh, note. You can also change the scale, so you can make it uh, major, for example, instead of pentatonic major. but I think that pentatonic major sounds really nice. And you can also change the direction that it does this effect. So it can go uh, from above downwards, like so. Yeah, so this creates a lot of nice effects and throughout the track, I'm modulating uh, the way that this works. So I get some nice variation. Uh, we can listen to it here. And I really love this script because it's fairly simple and it really uh, creates very interesting sound design just by playing more notes, uh, which is a great concept uh, in my opinion. Sometimes the sound design is mostly just good composition and utilizing the sounds that you've got in an interesting way. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So we also got some drums. So I wanted to keep the drums fairly simple. So actually the main drums have no uh, VFX script altering their MIDI uh, at all because I wanted my drums to be consistent. As you can see, I've also made some velocity changes manually to make it sound the way I wanted to. Uh, but we do have the right cymbals, uh, which do have a script. So let me play them. So the right symbols are having uh, the same script uh, as the first synth that we looked into, uh, the velocity and keyboard modification script. Uh, and it's also uh, using the randomized function with a minimum velocity value of 0 0.6 and a maximum of 0 0.8. So this means that the randomization of the velocity of the right symbol is fairly narrow in range. You can also make it extreme if you wanted to. But I just wanted a tiny bit of humanization without sacrificing the high frequencies that come with the rights. Uh, they start playing uh, in this area. Uh, 
and it's a very nice tool to add just a touch of humanization. So it's really nice and it really helps uh, glue the entire thing together. Uh, let's see if we have anything else. Oh yeah, the bass sound. So this is the bass synth. So I'm pretty sure that I had the velocity uh, matching the distortion level. Uh, I guess I removed it for some reason. Maybe I didn't like the sound, but we can try it. Yeah, so it's another way to add some randomization uh, for this sound, but I can understand why I didn't add it. Uh, I've added um, an amp simulator after this, so uh, probably driving the distortion too hard uh, made it sound a bit weird. Let's see. Yeah, so Guitar Rig is just heavily compressing the signal uh, and affecting it anyway, so I decided that I didn't want uh, to add some randomization to it, but it is possible if you want to. So one last thing I wanted to do is to showcase the difference between uh, no VFX script and VFX script in the different instruments one by one. Uh, so let's take a look at the drum group. So let's hear it without VFX. And with VFX, we're going to hear that the right cymbal is, uh, isn't playing at the exact same volume all of the time. And now let's take a look at the chord synth. So without VFX, it should be in a consistent velocity and volume. And with VFX, the velocity is randomized, so it shouldn't be as consistent. And now let's go over the lead synth. So without VFX, it is a monophonic uh, lead voice. And with the effects it should be harmonized by three additional voices. That is a lot better in my opinion, it sounds so much cooler. Uh, and the final bit is the harp stem. So without any VFX, it is a very standard uh, plain style. With VFX, it just transforms it completely. Let's hear the start as well. And that's compared to no VFX. It's such a big difference and I think it sounds uh, really cool. Um, so I hope you like this video and I'm going to uh, make more videos on each of the scripts uh, one by one uh, and then I'm going to uh, release them probably in a github so you can download them and get updates if I find bugs or make additional features. Uh, it's just that I took like two weeks to just to make these and it consumed my entire personal life uh, just making these. So I wanted to stop, make a video about them and talk about each one uh, thoroughly and then uh, release them and continue with making music and not just writing uh, code. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.